Make sure you check out our new sponsor, the Health Blaze. All the information is in the description. Use the promo code above. Good fella one boxing at 18% off of all their natural products from deodorant, pomade, toothpaste, and much, much more. And they have additional discounts on their website as well. That's the healthblaze.com. Start December 20th. That promo code is good for 18% off. We go. What's going on? We back. Good fella sports TV. Talking a little bit about Terrence Crawford and Khan pay per view event. Um, giving an update and a synopsis on it, man. Obviously, uh, no buzz, but that's not the or that's not the, uh, you know, that's not abnormal right now for ESPN. It's not abnormal for the zone. The zone has no buzz for Canelo Alvarez, no and Danny Jacobs, no buzz for Big Baby taking on Anthony Joshua. And it's just that, you know, they don't know how to promote the fights no more. And neither is Showtime. Let's keep it real. Fox is pretty much the platinum standard for uh, promoting fights. But let's talk about it. Before we do, don't forget to check out our sponsor, The Hellblaze, thehellblaze.com. Promo code Goodfellow Unboxing. Get you 18% off of their all natural products some soaps, lotions, foot soaks, bath bombs, and much, much more. Website promo code are in the description. Appreciate everybody for checking in. We're doing giveaways, uh, hopefully today I do a giveaway, man. Yesterday, nobody reminded me, but hey, it is what it is when we was live. But uh, still, tickets not moving. It's a ton of uh, it's a resale ticket on there. It's, it's a ton of standard admission tickets from $81 going up to $306 that I looked at on like right on the floor, like the little bleachers on the floor, I, I think they are. Um, then you get on the floor, it seemed like they sold some um, a little bit of uh, floor tickets in front of those bleachers, but for the majority of reasons, tickets not moving at Master Square Garden, the promotion not moving, it seemed like they told Amir Khan to start talking a little bit of ish, and he has started talking a little bit and selling the fight, but like I said, this this is a failure in progress, and it's just real, it's not me hating on Crawford, hating on Khan, being a, a pro Spence, pro PBC guy, y'all know I called him down the middle, it's that, you know, this dude, you know, he signed his deal, and like I said before, you know, people saying he need to leave and whoop de woo woo buy himself out the contract. And he should have done that when before he read up. You know, but I don't know what his finances looking like. Um they probably pillow talked him. But, you know, if you know, if it, I was watching Fred video from Barbershop Conversation, subscribe to that brother. And he was saying that top rank insider told him that um I'll link his version in the description so you know it's real on the source link. But he was saying that a top rank insider told him he's locked up till twenty twenty five now. Crawford had one more fight on his his uh, contract uh, before the uh, the Jose Benavidez fight, but the way Top Rank played, they don't play fair. Uh, if you don't take that, if you don't sign a contract extension before that last fight, then they shelf you. But it should have been easy for him to buy himself out that contract at that point. It's one fight, whatever they wanted for that one fight, he should have had a million five, two million, three million, whatever it was, type of type of dollars, and, and left. And um, maybe did something else, but maybe they don't want to do the groundwork. Maybe the deal was sweet. Um, you know, it is the largest guaranteed contract for any black uh, boxer currently. Anybody in combat sports, I would, I would, I would, I would guess. So maybe you know, I get three, I get three, three point five every time I go, go out minimum. Um, you know, it probably just made sense for him. He hit his number. He had his point. But in, actual, in reality, you know, it it's all depends on him. How ambitious do we want to be? And his personality don't seem that he really wants to be ambitious. His personality don't seem like he really want to go out there and really be a star. He's just happy in his position. If he happy in his position, knowing that he get three five or three million every time time he go out, guaranteed, and most of the time it's most of that, then how can you get mad at a guy that's as happy in his position? You know, and you know when you sign over or real with top rank that the Errol Spence fight not gonna happen. You know, and I, and I wonder, you know, I don't want to venture off too much, but I do wonder, I do wonder why, you know, why more people don't look at the situation in clarity. Because remember, David Benavidez took that money to go to top rank. He had to return it. I don't have time to get into all of that. But, you know, why do, do people look at it like us? Are these boxers informed like us about the history of Bob Arum, history of Golden Boy and treating black and Mexican fighters bad? Are they aware of what Bob Arum stands for and his loophole not even his loophole, his rigged up hot wire contracts. Or do they not care? They just care about the money. And that's how I know a ton of these dudes, you know, wasn't in the streets like that. A ton of these dudes weren't street savvy or a ton of these dudes, you know, not business savvy. You know, real talk. We know that. I, I can tell you, man, because at the end of the day, they don't care. They're just looking at the, the looking at the amount of signing bonus money they're getting 
oh, I'm getting three five three point five a fight. I don't care about nothing else. But you're not looking at it towards the future. Like, okay, uh, you know, I need, I need, I mean, I need, I need. Excuse me. I don't know. I want to fight Errol Spence. You know, I don't want to fight Sean Porter or Keith Thurman. Or maybe he really don't want to fight those guys. That's something to be said. Knowing when you when you're dealing with that, you know Bobby um history of stopping big fights. So for anybody that has sympathy on Terrence Crawford, he knew what he was doing, to be honest. He knew the position he was put in when he was down in one fight. If he was gonna buy himself out, it was gonna be then. But he probably ain't in the business of losing money, not to make money. He got guaranteed money. You go over to PVC, it's not guaranteed. You go over to the zone, you're in the same position you in now, you're not getting those fights. So maybe he put a premium on guarantee, but he didn't put a premium on promotion. He didn't put a premium on big fights. You know, if you're not going to fight until 2025, and I'm pretty sure he's not going to fight until 2025, fighting the level of oppo- opposition he's fighting, even if the, the big guns do retire and move up to 54 here, I mean, who I mean, who are you going to fight? Even if you collect all the belts again, people are going to uh, be rate you and be like, oh, same thing I did at 140. He didn't collect shit while Crawford, I mean, while Thurman Spence and Porter was up there, and all of a sudden they scoop all the belts after they leave. That's what's going to be said. And then again, he put himself in a being position like this, like, they can't afford the three five on an ESPN budget. You know what I'm saying? They can't afford to pay him three five or or them five million a piece, him and Kind, to fight on the ESPN. So now he gotta go to pay per view where I don't even think it's gonna do one ninety. Two hundred thousand, I think I'm being nice. Him and Victor Posto did six thousand, sixty thousand, I believe, pay per view buys or something like that. I don't think this is gonna be even close. I don't I don't believe this is gonna be close to that, you know. And it's like I said before, man, Amir Khan, a lot of Americans ain't seen Amir Khan since he got knocked out by Canelo. You know, he don't have a name. I mean, he got a name over here, but it's, you know, it is what it is, man. Like I said before, it's been a terrible promotion. You know, I'm watching Pacers in Oklahoma City like Fritz. And I'm watching that yesterday, even while I'm chopping up videos, I'm going live. I didn't see one Crawford promotion, Crawford uh, kind of promo. I, I flash ESPN take every now and again. Well, I'll be on get on up because you know Jalen Rose that's my Detroit brother so I'm gonna watch my Detroit brother and I don't see no Crawford con you know thing you know even I'm watching other channels you know they're not running on, on other channels but this is the big microphone that that Bob Aaron was talking about this is a failure in progress come April 20th it's gonna be a failure complete you know and that's just what it is man like you know he not over here he not out here produ- uh, uh, you know Promoting his fight, Crawford. He don't have personality. Bo Mac could say a few things, you know, like you know, Ter- I mean, uh, Fred said that um, that Bo Mac said that uh, he streamed the Earl Spence fight. What you think all these Earl Spence cult fans gonna do? I mean, even before that, they were streaming the fight regardless. They were streaming it before regardless, and that's that's just what it is, man. Like, it's it, it is what it is, man. You know, you're not making anybody engage. It's just nothing to draw people to this fight. And I'm not talking about hardcore boxing fans because they're going to watch it regardless, stream or pay for it. But it's just, like I said, man, it's just like, what are you what are you watching? What are you what are you looking forward to? Where's the drama? Where's the boast for Amir Khan? You know, he's starting to talk a little bit. You know, maybe come fight week, they get, you know, they start ramping it up. But it needs to be done before fight week. Mikey Earl did it months before they fight and still only did 360000 you know, so what you expect this is going to do? It, it's not going to probably do half of that. Crawford don't. Crawford ain't out there doing nothing. His coach ain't being like Angel and, and doing all the talking for real. So this promoter that, that he pays to promote him, he ain't doing no promoting. Amir Khan ain't doing no promote. Virtual Hunter ain't doing no talking. So it's a it's a, it's a a pay-per-view that's just destined to be bad. They're going to give away a ton of tickets at the end of the day. Nobody is comping. It's too many fights in the month of April, May, and June. To go to Crawford Con. I mean, you go to Wilder Brazil for half the price, probably thirty-five, forty dollar tickets. Big Baby Miller and Joshua, even though they three hundred to get in the building, that's still there. Fury, Tom Swartz, you know, I don't know why you want to go that. Clarissa Shield, Christina Hammer, Hammer, April thirteenth, April twelfth or thirteenth, I believe. You know, it's a ton of other fight options to go out there. Uh, Jer Hurd, J Rock, Tony Harrison. Jamal Char- Jamel Charlo too. Jamel Jamal Charlo fighting Houston. Both going down in June, in separate sites. But 
it is what it is. I'll continue with one more video, boxing video after this. Good fellow sports TV. Don't forget, we on Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter. You can reach out to the email if you have a business question, inquiry, response, ship, or video request. And continue to share the videos. But don't forget to check out our sponsor, The Hellblaze, TheHellblaze.com. Promo code goodfellow one boxing Your 18% off their all natural products. And I'll, I'll link Fred's video in the description as well, too. But uh, I'm going to drop a little uh, taste of the Patreon, you know. So check out for that video after the next video I drop. One time for the one time we come.